VRF versus split AC it's one of the biggest decisions in modern air conditioning but beyond the technical jargon which system truly saves you more money in the long run one offers unparalleled flexibility and energy savings for larger spaces while the other is the go to cost effective choice for single rooms but the decision isn't always that simple making the wrong choice can cost you thousands in energy bills and lead to years of discomfort hey everyone and welcome back to s r h v a c your trusted guide in the world of heating ventilation and air conditioning if you're trying to navigate the complex choice between these two powerful cooling technologies you've come to the right place whether you're a home owner planning a renovation a business owner outfitting a new office or an architect designing a multi-story building this video is for you we're going to break it all down for you we start with the basics of how each system works then dive deep into a head to head comparison of their working principles initial and long term costs energy efficiency and ideal applications by the end of this video you'll have a clear comprehensive understanding empowering you to choose the perfect system for your specific needs and budget let's get started section 1 what is a split ac so let's start with the split ac a split ac system is what we commonly use in homes or small offices it has two main units indoor unit which blows cool air into your room and outdoor unit which releases heat outside each indoor unit is connected to its own outdoor unit this means if you have three rooms you'll usually need three outdoor units split acs are simple cost effective and easy to install but not ideal for large buildings Section 2 what is a VRF or VRV system now let's dive into the world of VRF systems you might also hear the term VRV which stands for variable refrigerant volume so what's the difference honestly not much VRV is a term trademarked by Daikin Industries the pioneers of this technology other manufacturers use the term VRF or variable refrigerant flow for all practical purposes they refer to the same advanced HVAC technology at its core A VRF system is a highly sophisticated large scale version of a multi split air conditioning system. Think of it as the next evolution. While a standard split system has a one to one relationship between its outdoor and indoor units, VRF breaks that rule. Here, a single powerful outdoor condensing unit can connect to a whole network of indoor units, sometimes dozens of them. This modular design makes it incredibly versatile for commercial buildings, hotels, or large residences where you need to cool or heat many different spaces simultaneously. The real genius is in the name, variable refrigerant flow. The system's intelligent controls continuously monitor the heating or cooling demand from each individual indoor unit. It then precisely adjusts the amount of refrigerant sent to each specific zone, no more, no less, just the exact amount needed to maintain the desired temperature. This means you can have customized control in every single room all powered by one central outdoor unit one room can be a cool 21 degrees celsius while another is a warmer 24 degrees that's the efficiency and flexibility that defines the magic of vrf section 3 working principle and feature comparison so how do these two systems actually work and what does it mean for your comfort and your wallet Let's dive deep into the core technology that sets them apart. Think of a traditional split AC like a light switch. Its compressor operates on a simple on-off cycle. It runs at full power until the room reaches your desired temperature and then it shuts off completely. When the temperature rises again, the compressor kicks back on with a surge of power. This constant starting and stopping creates noticeable temperature fluctuations and is not the most energy efficient way to operate. Now contrast that with a VRF system. Its intelligent inverter compressor is more like a car's accelerator pedal. Instead of shutting off, it varies its speed, continuously adjusting the refrigerant flow with incredible precision. It delivers just the right amount of cooling or heating needed to maintain a consistent temperature, eliminating those uncomfortable swings. This fundamental difference is why VRF systems are significantly more energy efficient, provide superior temperature stability, and operate much more quietly as the compressor rarely needs to run at full blast. Let's break this down further in a head-to-head -head comparison. For outdoor units, a split AC requires one for every indoor unit which can take up a lot of space. A VRF system, however, can connect many indoor units to a single modular outdoor unit saving valuable real estate and improving building aesthetics in terms of energy efficiency split acs are moderately efficient but vrf systems are in another league offering very high efficiency thanks to that smart inverter control often resulting in significant long term energy savings 
when it comes to temperature control split ACs typically cool all connected spaces to the same temperature VRF excels here allowing for independent temperature control for each room or zone offering personalized comfort for everyone the initial installation cost for a split AC is relatively low VRF systems have a higher upfront investment due to their advanced technology and complexity finally maintenance for a split AC is generally simple a VRF system is more sophisticated and requires specially trained technicians for proper installation and service so what's the verdict split ACs are best for homes and small offices on a budget VRF systems are the superior choice for large commercial spaces like offices hotels and hospitals where zoning efficiency and long-term operating costs are key priorities Section 5 Advantages of VRF Systems Saves up to 30 to 40% energy compared to traditional systems. Offers zoned cooling, different temperatures in different rooms, compact outdoor design reduces space requirements, extremely quiet operation. However, initial installation can be expensive and it needs professional maintenance. In Section 6, which one should you choose? If you're cooling a small home or office, a split AC is simple and affordable, but for large commercial buildings, hotels, or hospitals, a VRF system is far more efficient. And and flexible so choose based on your space size usage and budget if you found this video helpful make sure to like share and subscribe for more HVAC and engineering insights thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video